What's up Transponder? This is Ben here in Malaysia and we're going to talk about the unique toys Combaticons. Well, what can I say? When I first saw the prototype leaked images of Swindle, I was uber excited because first of all, we got the alt mode that really looks like the G1 toy and cartoon. And then we, I saw Brawl and I said to myself, boy, this looks like a really cool looking Brawl. So now here we have the updated pictures with uh, Megatron and Optimus Prime and they look pretty good together. Here is Swindle and Brawl with an MP car bot. From the get-go you can see that Swindle is a little taller than uh, your regular car bot. And what I gotta say is that yeah I know he's a Jeep and um, Jeeps are usually a little taller but that's just in height wise but shouldn't be too much longer than the average car bot and uh, transforming into the robot, he seems a little taller. So that seems like Unique Toys has their own little scale that they're kind of doing. If Hound is, gets made, so Hound will be about the same size as MP Sideswipe, which means it will be smaller than Swindle. I know that Swindle is usually the smallest member of the Combaticons, but looking at this two, they are about the same size. And you gotta know that, you know, there's some physical limitations that we have in real life and that the limbs for Bruticus should be about the same height. So that just forces Swindle to be a little taller than he should be. But of course, we know that in the cartoons, uh, they will be all drawn weirdly because in the cartoons, Brawl, Vortex, Blastoff and Onslaught will all be approximately the same size. Uh, but Swindle will be the smallest guy. Here we have the four limbs to be about the same size, just like the G1 toy and Onslaught being the biggest guy of them all. When I saw Brawl and Swindle being teased, I was like, I'm gonna get this, these guys because this looks like the ultimate Combaticons and Bruticus in my mind. Uh, yes, I no immediately noticed the upside down flipped window section for Swindle, but for me, I can forgive unique toys for that because it still looks like an amazing swindle. Then this picture came out and suddenly my excitement level just dropped a little bit. And here's why. Onslaught looks terribly busy. Too many detailings and moldings and all these lines. It's just so distracting. Yes, this is an unpainted test shot, but in my mind, I, I kind of like the cleaner look that you see in the in, in Swindle and Brawl. Blastoff has all these detailings in the inner car. Vortex seems pretty clean, so that's a good thing. So I became a little bit disappointed by the, uh, the release of the other three, especially for Onslaught here. But what do I like to do in this show, Toy Talk? I, I like to uh, make comparisons and nitpick whether to see that this unique toy release is the ultimate. So will this be the ultimate Bruticus that we will ever have? The short answer is no, because there could be a better Bruticus that could be made, but will it ever be made? So it really lies down to whether this will be the stand-in Bruticus for me and maybe for you. Most of you probably have already decided to get this or not, but for people on the fence, um, maybe this nitpicking will help you with your decision process. So, let's look at Brawl. Brawl, compared to cartoon, first of all, the color is completely off, right? Here you have an olive green color, and the green color on the animation model is a little bit of a mustard green, lighter shade of green, right? So, ah, that's really off. And because you put the gray beside this olive green, that green just does not pop out. It's not, that's not pop. Secondly, the face sculpt looks a bit different. Here you have a very full red face, right? The face mask is red, but on the animation, it's not. You have the orange eyes, okay? And you have some red colored crest, and it's not really visible in the uh, Unique Toys version. The chest piece here looks quite good. Um, yeah, it looks quite good to the animation model. Uh, the ab section, it's a bit off and the crotch section is a bit off. Why? Because you have, in the animation model, you have this big gray piece that goes up into the chest and you have this big uh, hexagonal molding piece here and I don't really see it here. And the crotch piece, it's a little bit thicker, right? You've got a thicker piece of underwear 
but you don't see that here in the unique toys brawl arms looks pretty good molded pretty good everything looks pretty good gas uh, the tank nozzle looks pretty good the legs looks pretty good a little bit of detailing here for unique toys but i i make I'm okay with that. The legs, the sh knee pads looks a bit different. Here you got some square looking, is that metallic plating or metallic colored plating? I don't know. And you got some colorings here. And in the uh, and in the animation model, you don't have that. You just have a nice round. I think there's some lines down here, which you, you, you will be able to see in the Unique Toys version. The only deal breaker should be the colors. Let's look at Swindle. Now Swindle, you have the wheel that is in a mixed section of the calves, but in an animation model, it's at near the heels. The wheels here are, it's all right, it's acceptable. The windscreen flops down in the Unique Toys version, but for the tune, it flips up. The You have the headlight piece and the grill piece around the crotch area, and it's somewhat here in the Unique Toys version, but the Unique Toys version is very thin indeed. What, I, what made me fell in love with this window is that it replicated the chest and torso ab area for Swindle pretty accurate. You've got this purple section here and the purple section here and um, the thighs looks pretty okay. The calves looks more squared off in the cartoon but you got the I guess back section of the Jeep mode uh, for the legs of the Unique Toys version. And so there's an extra detailing here and coloring that isn't in the cartoon model. And then comes the biggest gripe. Here, Unique Toys Swindle is like a sand brown color. But for the animation model, it's more towards the mustard color, right? And the purple here is a lot brighter. The purple here is a lot darker. This purple here kind of matches the Blast Off purple instead of the Swindle purple. And so that's big probably my biggest gripe. Head sculpt is a little bit narrower, you know, it should be a little wider. I guess the face can use a little bit more improvement. Then let's take a look at Vortex. Vortex, is, the sculpting is a little off now. Look at that. you got a beefy chest here with this two side chest panel with the little nipples up on top. Yeah, you got some top nipples here, but not in a way that it's it is in the toy right and then the crotch area here everything is not accurate at all oh, man i mean look at that it, it just doesn't look the same the legs also looks a bit off i'm impressed that the wheel is accurate at the back here but everything here looks a little off the shoulders this piece here whatever this is looks off and there's a smaller piece here yeah um, vortex seems to look look a little off but what about blast off blast off you got this nice molded piece chest piece here which you can see in the animation model here is molded differently than the unique toys version uh, you got this I mean forearm shield here right you don't see that here so that's off the wheels actually move uh, compressed to the side of the shins but the wheel landing gear is right here in the middle so that's off and most of all the feet is not made out of thrusters that's completely off i would say that blast off seems to be one of the more inaccurate combaticons from unique toys so let's look at onslaught big fellow here the chest has too much detailing compared to the onslaught in the animation and this in a midsection here, the, this square piece uh, sticks out, but it doesn't stick out here. And you got the headlights here. I guess these are the headlights. It looks quite okay. Squared out middle crotch area here is kind of big. The arms looks off. I'm, I'm more and more unconvinced that this is the Bruticus that I'm, I'm going to get, especially with the price point. Thighs look, I don't know, off. There's too much detailing on calves. I'm just not impressed with the onslaught and blast off. Vortex, I can still be okay with it. I love this window the most, but the color choices are terrible. Uh, most accurate to the cartoon, in my opinion, is the brawl. So here we have the Combaticons in the vehicle mode. Well, all three of them. First is Swindle and Brawl. The scale, of course, Brawl is a little too small, Swindle is a little too big. 
and also if you look at onslaught it looks tiny yes it's can it has the gimmick of being able to haul one of the combaticons but again it's just far too small or perhaps swindle is just far too big and is this really a setback i wouldn't say so why because the priority would be for the robot mode in the individual forms right and also the combined mode has to be pretty good i don't mind the sacrifices being made in the scaling of the alt mode combined mode this is a digibass by uh i forgot who it was and uh, this is a comparison probably by Keem the Rub so thanks a lot for the work here again Keem for all the comparisons that you've done for the community amazing first thing I like about that the head size is pretty good I love that they have the option to use a blast off part to be part of the chest plate all right that's pretty amazing the chopper tail section could be uh, something else could be done to it right as you can see it's not visible here it looks like a pretty good combined mode um, from what I see for the arm section and the dig digibash is done pretty well as well um, again look at this look at this this is this is what I think why people don't like this version of Bruticus right uh, because of this leg thighs here it just looks awful and then the leg tank looks pretty good I love that the digibash version here follows the cartoon pretty well foot here is painted green the foot here is painted mustard right but here is my biggest gripe look at the orientation of swindle this is not how swindle is supposed to be oriented i mean if you look at the transformation swindle turns upwards you see that hood it turns upwards so that means swindle here is oriented incorrectly that's my biggest gripe and I don't know why Unique Toys couldn't get that correct. Why is that? Is that something about the ports slots makes the legs, the leg here for Bruticus a lot stronger if Swindle is done in this orientation? I don't know. That's just kind of strange. Here we have the updated pictures of Bruticus from Unique Toys in the combined mode. Here we have the colored test shots for swindle and brawl and as well as the colored feet for bruticus and from this image i'm already a bit disappointed first we have the colors here that is toy accurate i mean why giving fans the choice of having a too accurate bruticus and then you throw in this little gimmick i don't like that secondly the color is already off i mean look at that this fan digi bashed version of bruticus looks so much better with the color coordinated feet, right? Um, never mind that my gripe for Swindle is already oriented the wrong way, but then the, the feet that's colored like the toy. So that's a big gripe. Here is Bruticus from the back. I got not much of a complaint over here. And this is their own unique take on a uh, unique toy's own unique take. Ba boom On how Bruticus will be from the back. No complaints here. Again, too much detailing is here on the thighs and I don't mind this little gimmick whatever they need to do to make the combined mode work so I, I'm not too depressed about that so this brings me to the final conclusion when Swindle and Brawl were teased I thought to myself OMG this is got to be bought I'm gonna pre-order this but once they released Voltex Blast Off and Onslaught I'm beginning to have mixed feelings about this Combaticon set. First, the color choice is being made. Next, the Bruticus looks very busy because of Onslaught's carve. Then you get the toy accurate colored feet and I'm assuming you're gonna get lots of the toy accurate colored stuff. And so for 80 bucks or 90 bucks, I don't know if I'm willing to shell out $600 for a Bruticus that I am not completely happy with. 
uh, I would probably take a back seat in terms of seeing the other reviewers and see if they like them. And once I've seen what they've got, then I'll make my final decision. So those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you already, boom, clicked on that pre-ordered button? Are you still on the fence like I am? Are you gonna wait for some more reviews and color test shots, especially of the three other Combaticons? Or are you just going to buy Zeta toys? Let me know about what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit the sub button if you haven't done so, share and like it. And this is Ben in Malaysia on a holiday. Until next time, I'll see you on the flip side.